Hello Collective, welcome to the Humble Sage. If you're new here, be welcome. If you're returning, thank you for supporting my channel. Either way, you're very much appreciated. Today Collective, we're going to be doing a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And it's also a timeless reading Collective. So whenever it finds you, it's for you at that time. I hope you're doing well Collective. Let's see what's going on in the Yoldi world of Tarot. If you do enjoy the content collective, please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell to receive any future updates I upload on the daily. Let's get stuck in. First card out, please, Spirit. The Knight of Cups in the upright. Nice. The Devil in Reverse, the Three of Pentacles, the King of Wands in Reverse, the Tower, the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. Somebody's trying to stop something here, Collective. But this Knight of Cups is armoured. They're protected. So let's have a look. You know what's interesting? Look at this, Collective. What this felt like is somebody is no longer in toxic energy. That they're leaving behind or they're leaving behind toxicity and this could be a towel moment for a particular group of people that's why i spoke about protection here it feels like this energy this knight of cups is now protected we can see here with this tower and this three of cups it's almost like whatever's happening with this group this like group here this it could be a coven it could be a group of people um but whatever's happening with them is creating a huge towel moment like destruction even is what this feels like because to go from this cornucopia clear skies then to have the dark skies clouds people falling out of the tower it's almost it's more than a culture shock it's it's something drastic but this knight of cups is doing just fine you know this loving energy here because this isn't just about loving energy collective this can also speak about a new beginning and a new life it's some, it's an energy that says this Knight of Cups here is ready. Whoever's in this energy, if this is you collective or someone that relates to you, it's someone who is being through toxicity, but they made their way through it. So this armor is coming across as lessons. Resilience even, right? In the unconscious or the unseen, we've got the King of Wands in reverse and the Fool. And again, this is speaking to me about coming out of this toxicity, like whoever I'm reading for, there was some drastic toxicity in a situation, something like underhanded behavior, stealing, lying, cheating with this King of Wands in reverse. It could also be scamming and uh, stealing other people's abundance, no matter what that looks like. So if we're looking at spiritual abundance, perhaps um, it could have been a dark occultist maybe trying to steal other people's gifts. I don't think it's unfair to to say that this, because this can be a dark occultist. And just because you're on the dark path doesn't mean to say that you're evil. Some people are just in this energy because they feel like being destructive, right? But it seems like no matter what that was, it's been renewed in some way, right? Like the universe, this doesn't feel like a person. It feels like that the universe has granted a new beginning here to whoever I'm reading for. Or the energies around you is what, is what these two cards feel like. Like no more underhanded behavior, but instead a new beginning, a new beginning of growth. Unfortunately, this feels like karmics collective. It feels like some karmics are going through some huge time moment. We'll clarify a little bit more in a moment. But what we can see here in the conscious mind or in the scene realm, with this three of pentacles and the hermit, whatever was happening in the dark is now illuminated. And it's interesting that we've got these two here, right? The, no matter what happened, no matter that people probably felt that it would never be seen, it would never be known, 
is actually not just seen, but people are seeing the truth with this Virgo energy here. That's the truth. And it's a, it can be a painful truth as well to have something illuminated like that. And I'll go as far as to say that this Knight of Cups, whoever I'm reading for, if this is you collective, you know, if you're a healer, teacher, guide, earth angel, starseed, you're in this energy because you could see this toxicity. That's how you made it out of it. That's how you made it to move forward, right? But it seems like everybody just wanted to be in this toxic energy. And so here it is that's been illuminated. It could also be collective that you're being seen as a wise person here with this Knight of Cups. It's the beginning stages of uh, developing to the queen and the king, right? It's the beginning stages. I mean, yeah, we've got the page. So this is a more mature energy, but I say it, it's the beginning, beginning stages because this is movement, right? Each of the knights innately relate to fire. So they all relate to some sort of movement, right? Fire and water, those two put together, they may be opposites, but a lot can be achieved. In spirituality, some aspects um, in Eastern philosophy, there's the path of fire and the path of water. Each of them are just as significant. So when I see this card, the Knight of Cups, it seems like the alchemization of energies and finding that inner balance in order to be able to have a fruitful, fulfilling life. It almost feels like it was seen that this energy, that this cornucopia, this small amount here was a trick. It wasn't it wasn't real in an actual fact. It took hard work to get to this point. So these people that were in this energy, right, no matter what they did, we'll find out in a moment. We'll have a little look. It's been seen. So whatever collaborations were going on behind the scenes, they've been exposed. And I'll go as far as to say that it happened in divine timing here with the hermit. You know, this level of wisdom had to come about in its own time. Wisdom isn't rushed. You know, you learn from experience. Interestingly, with the future position, we've got here the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. What it feels like is someone is walking away from disaster or a previous construct. If this is family or a community or a previous mindset, because as a reader for me, this can relate to wisdom with the full Kabbalah here, right? The all of the Sephirot. It feels like someone's leaving behind an old mindset. It could be you, Collective, because when we go through life with this energy in the present moment, you know, when we see ourselves grow and developing, it's like this can be seen as walking away from me, walking away from things that no longer serve you. So this can be going back to a mindset of purity, a pure mindset of self, because after all, this energy is walking towards this energy here. Wow. Before we get to clarifying those, let's have a little look to see what else. Knight of Wands in reverse. The Emperor. So as the Emperor came out, this reading could be speaking about an Emperor, a Divine Masculine. It could also be speaking about an Empress, because those two are combining this card for me, in both cards, either one. They are the Empire. This Knight of Wands is saying to me, a collective, the inner resource or talent, that in the past, it could have been, it feels like misguided, yeah, exactly. In the past collective, it's like somebody was misguided by their spiritual beliefs or something like that. And I say misguided and I say that with due respect, each person's belief system is their own, right? I'm never here for me to put down other people's beliefs or anything like that. I feel like everybody's on their own path of evolution, no matter what that looks like. Even people who are atheists, because in that sense, then they believe in themselves, they believe in their own development. But this feels like trickery. It feels like somebody was tricked in the past. Right, because here where we've got, um, in the environment, we've got the Emperor. So it could be relating to a Divine Masculine. It could be saying that they were, not that they were in a trickster energy, but they were tricked in some way. Right, their wisdom or something like that was twisted to somebody's own end. Let's have a look to see what comes up with the Emperor. It can also state collective that 
you're in your power in that sense, whoever I'm reading for, that you found your throne, you found your purpose in life with this Aries energy, you're leading your own life, working on, you know, whatever it is for you, projects, you know, uh, life generally, that you're a leader of your own existence, co-creating with the universe that you can see the ank, that you are one with life, you're one with the creator, you're co-creating with the universe. Wow. Judgment's here with the Emperor. For some of you, it could be that the Emperor has called judgment on a situation. It doesn't feel like the universe has called judgment on the Emperor. It feels like the Emperor, because the Emperor's on their throne, right? and this came out after it. So maybe, yeah, an Emperor could be called to their true calling in life. But actually what this feels like is you've been given some sort of spiritual authority collective. It feels like... Going through life, because you had, you were honest with yourself, you were true to yourself, right? Now you can say, well, you've actually figured out who you are as a person. You're not afraid to be who you are, right? No matter what these karmics did over here to create this, you actually just carried on going and you're in some positive judgment, right? And that can speak about this trickery that was happening in the past, right? Even if it wasn't just aimed at an emperor, it could have been aimed at an empress, a divine being, a healer, a starseed, people, and it was aimed at you by people that don't like your light, where your light irritates their demons. Because after all, this can be enlightenment. Seeing things from a higher mindset. This is introspection. Similar cards, right? When we see here with the page of cups, right, in this hopes and fears, it, it, what it feels like is someone is no longer in, like I say in my past few readings collective, you're no longer a victim. You're no longer a survivor. You're actually an achiever. So no longer are you in this wounded warrior energy. This wounded warrior has grown. This wounded warrior is now going after their dreams, following their imagination, creating that dream life here, like we spoke about earlier, no longer in this toxicity, this toxic energy, and leaving behind this tower that's falling upon this, this karmic crowd, whoever they are, we'll have a look in a moment. And the possible outcome here, we had the four of pentacles in reverse. Exactly, it's like the universe is releasing you here. This feels like the universe is releasing you. It could also speak about um, legal proceedings with the king of swords. Right. It could be that a message is coming to you that's going to free you from these bounds. It's going to free you from whatever you're binding to collective. And if so, congratulations, because with the King of Swords, it could have been something that you waited for for a long time. Because this King is someone who runs on data, right, where all the data needs to be collected before any action can be taken. And that can take as long as it takes. But frankly, that's, you know, that's like spirit. Tell me about this three of cups in the upright, please, with the tower. If you are enjoying this reading collective, please consider subscribing. It'd be great to have you as part of the community. The two of... Right. It came out with the two of pentacles in reverse. The Three of Swords and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Wowzers. Whoever this Queen of Swords is to you, Collective, in some way they're hurt because the truth that they tried to make up was the truth in the past is being seen that it was all lies. Right? And they were trying to manipulate a situation, thinking they had control over somebody else's realm or somebody else's world or perhaps over a group of people. And I'll say this to you, Collective. These people that are in this energy, this tower moment, it may not necessarily be entirely their fault. And I know sometimes we don't always want to hear that, but looking at things from different angles, right? If this queen of swords here was portraying themselves to be in the upright, this energy here, they're still in the upright. It didn't come out in reverse. So to me, that's not saying that they were karmic in behavior. I mean, of course, we all have some level of toxicity sometimes. I'm not making out these people to be angels to you, collective. You know your personal story. What I'm saying to you is in this reading, what it's saying is that these energies are having a tower moment because with the three of cups in the upright, 
they thought they were moving forward with somebody's best interest at heart. But now where we've got the two of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Swords in the upright, and the Queen of Wands, excuse me, the Queen of Swords came out in the reverse. It's now being seen that this group in some way is hurting or in some way seeing the truth of a situation now because this Queen of Swords lied. Everything they mentioned was untrue. So these people may have taken actions in the past which may now be causing repercussions for them in the present moment because somebody here, this Queen of Swords, just wanted to control the situation to their own end. And that's why it's being created and that's why it's come out like this, that these two came out in the reverse because it's been seen that all they wanted was control. They weren't actually in alignment. They weren't actually, with the eight, it can also speak about your higher self, working in someone's highest good, including your own. You are the example in that sense, right? But like this, somebody was working from a place of detriment where they just wanted to harm. And you can see here with this three of swords and here with the three of cups, it's like this group are in a situation. And the three of swords not necessarily relate to three specific people collective. I just want to put that out there. It can relate to just the threes that it's a group to consider, right? It's interesting because I've never seen this three of swords as a group. But with this Three of Cups here, it's just synchronistic like that. I mean, wow, you know? That's nuts, Collective. Whoever I'm reading for, that's nuts. Because this tower, in that sense, it's not just destruction, but it's also drastic enlightenment for them, because this can be that the crown chakra has been blasted open. And once it hits one, it goes to all of the others. You get an awakening through all of the chakras then in some way, and it needs to be grounded. And if the heart chakra is blocked, it will open the heart chakra. And it can be drastic energy, this scorpionic energy with this lightning bolt of Mars here. Scor Scorpio and Aries are two sides of the same coin. They just go about it in different ways, in a sense, you know? Especially when we look at... Uh, judgment here, for example, it's also Scorpionic energy. It feels like whoever you are, collective, or if this is relating to somebody around you, you found your strength and your power, right? Without being assertive over other people's lies. That's not what a that's not what a true emperor does. That's not what kings and queens do either. That's not what anybody in their right mind does in life, right? You go through life growing and developing in your own self. There's no need for you to be asserting yourself over other people's lives and other people's beliefs and what they can and cannot do. Why? Until people step into your empire and onto your turf, why would you need to bother anybody else? And the universe is here to say, look, judgment is being called because actually whoever this emperor energy is, whether it's actually divine masculine or whether it's or indeed, whether that's male or female or transitioning. You know, this is Tyra. We speak about energy, not gender, just to put that out there. But when we look at it like that, it can also be you collective. If you're not going to consider yourself to be a divine feminine or divine masculine, this can speak about you being sat in your energy, in your truth, in your Aries energy. And you see what I'm saying? How we've got Aries here, Scorpio here, right? We've got Aries and Scorpio here. It's like the truth of this emperor, the truth of you collective is now being seen. And the universe is calling judgment on that. It's because of this collective. It's because it can be seen that you were not a part of this devil energy in the first place. And by devil energy, I mean negativity. I believe that the, neg the um, excuse me, that the, uh, the devil card with this Capricorn energy can actually be very healthy to come up. It can speak about your projects, your endeavors. And to be like this, it's like all of this was happening around this Knight of Cups, it seems. And this Knight of Cups is now moving forward that they've got this armor of resilience. It's almost like they've earned this armor because you train first, you know, you're the page where you do training first, then you move into becoming a knight, right? Where you can uh, defend yourself and when you need to. Again, a knight is not there to just be there, you know, wielding a sword to anybody and being a bully. No, of course not. Especially this knight. This knight is more of an envoy you know, to deliver messages, it seems. And it's like they've learned from this. That's why they're no longer around this energy because they had to learn those lessons to move forward. This is unfortunate here that this has been illuminated like this, but again, they're in the upright. You see what I'm saying, Collective? You know how synchronistic that is, how we've got the Three of Cups and the Three of Swords in the upright? 
It's like this group was working behind the scenes, perhaps thinking that it was something for the highest good, but actually now realizing it really wasn't. I have to ask the question why this Queen of Swords would do such a thing. Like, why would you be in such energy? Whoever I'm reading for, collective. I mean, we can always say that the Queen of Swords, it could be a mother, it could be a wife, but really it's a feminine energy. So it could be male, female, or transitioning. It could be anyone that's in this energy. But in this energy now, collective, it's like almost like their bitterness and their hatred and their scorn and their bullying is now being seen and how they were just a heartbreaker, how they just wanted to harm others and to control others' lives. And that's interesting because you see this group here, they're in the upright. So it could be that something's happening behind the scenes that now people are gaining the wisdom. And they, this can be spiritual counsel for me as a reader, especially in the angel tarot, that the hermit is considered to be spiritual counsel as well as um, spiritual alchemy. And we've got spiritual alchemy, it's implied here, and we've got judgment here. All of those can relate to aspects of spiritual alchemy and aspects of, uh, excuse me, parts of the journey along the way on your spiritual journey, right? This can be epiphany. This can be liberation. This can be enlightenment. You see what I'm saying? All of these aspects here have come together. And when we look at this, <laughs> It's almost like somebody could be trying to come back as well, collective. Again, it doesn't feel like a divine being. It doesn't feel like anything like that. It feels like someone's trying to backtrack because now what they've done has been seen. But it's already been, that's a point. It's already been seen. This group has already seen. We've got the three of pentacles, the three of cups and the three of swords. There's so much alignment here. It's like, it's being seen, but now it's like this person wants to backtrack. They want to come back to this knight of cups but the universe is like, well, no, because what you've done has already been seen. How you try to destroy someone's world here. It could be something to do with money as well, or a house. Because this 10, in this, it is. With pentacles, it does speak about practicability. It does speak about this realm of a sire. Therefore, this could literally be a house. Because it's not just your spiritual temple. It can also speak about an actual home. Because it's what's manifest down here in the realm of a sire, in the Malkuth. When we look at it like this, it could be that somebody tried to get away with someone's home or tried to get away with someone's money. It could be trying to get away with someone's wishes, their prospects. It could have been that they were trying to copy somebody's spirituality or something like that. And you say, well, everyone can, you know, with spirituality, it's universal. It is supposed to be ubiquitous. It is supposed to be accessible to a lot of people. So when we look at it like this, it could be that somebody manipulated others with spirituality here because they knew it would have been an easy way in order to get them on board or something like that. Someone is definitely no longer trapped collective. It could be you, that you're following your dreams here. You're no longer in this, this victimhood or um, I'm a survivor energy, but instead I've learned those lessons. They were but obstacles, move forward. And here you are on this fresh energy. It's a stage card as well. You know, this brand new beginning that's coming for you here, Collective. And we can see, look at that. It could be that a King of Swords here, like this feels like the law. Straight up, it feels like the law or, or um, a judge, like a spirit divine is working through this energy to bring justice to a situation. Because the Queen of Swords is here in the reverse. Well, the King would understand that energy implicitly. Right. So it could be that maybe this person is, I don't know, maybe a lawyer, a solicitor, um, something like that, something that runs on data, which you can say is a lot of professions, but really in the professional world, it's, it's data. So it's somebody who is perhaps a working professional that did this. It could be for somebody out there. But when we look at this King of Swords, it's like somebody is no longer bound. You know, someone's freed themselves here, collective. And if it's you and you're in this, this masculine energy of going foot in life with your divine feminine, divine masculine, male, female transitioning, you can see here that you're in your truth. You're in that masculine, masculine energy of taking action in life, going after your dreams. You know, the Empress can speak about sowing those seeds, whereas the Empress speaks about taking action, reaping those rewards, you know, moving forward diligently, controlling your realm, having discipline. Wow. And the Ace of Pentacles, I didn't even know it's at the bottom of the deck there, right? 
you probably saw in the camera collective. But there, the ace of the ace of pentacles. So something is coming towards you, collective. The universe is making something right. There is something that can help you to grow here. Because to have this in the reverse, right? We're at the apex. There's Kether. There it is. So with this in the reverse, what it feels like with it down here, it's almost like the universe is saying, oh, look what's been returned. So it could be for some of you collective that this is actually speaking about whatever was taken from you is going to be returned. Yeah, look at that. Right, this this construction of the universe, this the, the decisions being made, and you're literally looking out to your new world collective, like you're building your new world. It's not just on pen and paper, it's actually in flow. You've taken action on it and taken steps. And whatever this is could help with that. It can also be seen as, this could be some of you, that, yeah, the eight, you know, whatever project it is, you're working towards it. It can also be seen here, collective, that again, with the threes, now we've had all of them, right? We've had the three of swords, the three of cups, the three of pentacles, and now we've got the three of wands. It could be that this group is now seeing the truth of a situation. But you see those ships there, collective? It's almost like looking out, but the ship's already sailed. Like, it's almost like the, real the realization came too late, is what I'm getting here, strangely. So you know your own story, collective. If you want to mention it in the... Uh, the comments box maybe i'd always be interested to hear what people say this is fascinating reading collective but it, that's what this feels like like this is happening for you collective and whoever this group is that have been affected by the three of swords that were within this three of pentacles you know it's like now that this has happened the ship sailed it's gone it's almost like a feeling of too late and it doesn't feel like it feels like a group energy it doesn't feel like um it, this, the reading doesn't really say much to me about two lovers or career even it speaks about a situation and look at that wow i've never seen that card like that before i've never read that card like that as if something's too late ever i've never read it like that collective what an amazing reading let's get uh yeah let's get one of the angels of atlantis cards Offering personal readings collective. So if you would like to have a personal reading with me, you'll find my email address in the description box below. Probably the best way to reach out to me. But I'm also on social media platforms. Please feel free to DM me across the board. And I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Inspiration. Archangel Gabriel here. Yeah, collective. It's something here about the connection to the world. Like the universe is bringing something back here. You know, and that cup here that's waiting for it. You see what I'm saying, collective? It's like inspiration has come to this energy here, and they're just they're going with life. That's beautiful. Whatever I'm reading for, this has actually been a, a really a very enlightening reading. You never know what's gonna happen with tarot. That's great. Well, thank you very much, collective, and I hope you enjoyed the reading. As always, please take care of yourselves. <laughs>